Welcome back to another guide for Cold War Zombies. This time we are looking at the Dark Ops challenges for zombies within Black Ops Cold War. Now these challenges do not show up in the challenge area prompting you what to do. They are hidden challenges that pop up on screen when achieved. They have been around since Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 and always popular with the hardcore zombies players. Now in this episode we are looking at our final regular calling card of the series and it is called Reaper of the Undead and it says kill 1 million enemies. Now. What's to say about this calling card? Uh, you don't have to be a genius to work out. This is going to take a hell of a long time to achieve. Now, before we get onto Cold War Zombies, I wanted to look back at my Black Ops 3 stats, um, just for an example for this video. Um, it's going to be pretty maths and stats heavy, so if you don't like maths at school, you're probably not going to enjoy this video. So on the screen right now is my Black Ops 3 combat record. Um, as you can see in the video, I have around 1.6 million kills and around 80 days played. Now that works out to an average of 835 kills per hour. Now to get to a million kills on that average in this game it would have taken me 1197.6 hours or 49.9 days to complete. Now it's important to note here that I spent hours and hours and days and days playing speedruns on easter eggs uh, on Black Ops 3 which are notorious for being fairly low kill games. Um, we were always restarting a lot as well, so I think that average may be a little low compared to most normal zombie players. Now let's move on to Black Ops Cold War. Now there's only one map been released so far, uh, and I have 41 hours played and 41,000 kills. That's an average of 1,020 kills per hour. So to get to a million kills, that is 980 hours of play. Now bear in mind I've been recording videos at mostly low rounds on Dim Machine, and I would say it's going to be quicker than Black Ops 3 for the time being as the high round strat on this one map that's been released is a lot faster and easier than say Shadows of Evil which was released on Black Ops 3 as the first map. Now if I continue at this pace, playing say 2 hours a day, I'll get my calling card on Thursday, March 24th, 2022. Now let that sink in, take that for what you will, but whatever way you slice it, this challenge is going to take a hell of a long time for most casual zombie players. Now that's about it for this series of Dark Ops, uh, it's been a fun ride, we do have one more bonus episode coming up in the next few days so stay tuned for that, um, until then, peace out.